Hey guys, my name is Jeff. Today we're going to be reviewing two very popular soft shell jackets from the North Face. The one on the left is the North Face Apex Summit Thermal. TheNorthFace.com has this jacket to be top rated and retails for 230 bucks. The one on the right is the North Face Apex Bionic and is rated as a best seller on the NorthFace.com and retails for 149 I have seen a ton of reviews on YouTube about the Apex Bionic, but hardly any on the Summit Thermal, so I thought I would put the two to the test to see which is the bigger bang for your buck. Let's get started. So first we have the North Face Apex Summit Thermal. I just got this jacket in. It's in the asphalt gray and a medium, and as you can see it retails for $230. I really like the red accents and the zippers, uh, the Napoleon pocket and the two hand warmer pockets uh, makes a really nice touch to the jacket. Um, as you can see it is part of the Summit series which is the North Face's top rated series. It also features an outer shell technology called Polar Tech which is quickly becoming very popular. As you can see it uh, repels wind very well and also is water repellent too. However, it's very breathable and allows uh, moisture from your skin to escape very easily while keeping moisture out as well. As we take a look at the back, we can see the uh, very nice Polar Tech technology uh, outer shell and it's just very uh, plain with a asphalt gray color. You can see the North Face logo as well on the right shoulder. Also, if you notice the cuffs, it has the TNF Apex Aerobic Pierced in at the cuff tabs for stretch and comfort. Here, uh, it makes a real nice fit around the wrist. It's not too loose, not too tight. It works out really well. I like the fit of this. As we look at the inside of the jacket, you can see it has a very nice fleece lining. Uh, this really separates it uh, from the Apex Bionic. Keeps you nice and warm, keeps inside heat. Uh, very nice, hence the name Thermal. While wearing this jacket indoors, it does get a little warm, but it's not completely overbearing. Uh, it is really nice because it's breathable, so it doesn't make it like you're super, super hot all the time. Now, as you can see, it does have the Alpine fit, which is a more narrow athletic type of fit, which is really good for the Summit Series. As you can see, here is that patch. Another feature is in the hand warmer pockets you have cinch cords which kind of tighten it up against your body. So if I put this together, you can see that when I pull this, it tightens up, which is a pretty nice feature to keep the weather from out coming inside of your jacket. Now here you can see the nice Alpine fit. It's uh, fitted to the body. It's uh, a lot slimmer uh, than the regular fit of the Apex Bionic. Uh, you can also see the uh, Napoleon pocket there. Uh, looks like the Napoleon pocket was just uh, the same material just sewn over the outer shell there. Um, it's not fleece lined or anything like the hand warmer pockets are, which is a nice feature. Uh, looking at the back here, you, again you can see the Alpine fit, how it's fitted to the body. Um, you have the North Face logo on the right hand shoulder. Uh, it's a real comfortable, lightweight jacket. It's very stylish. Uh, and it's not overbearingly warm if you wear it indoors, uh, but it keeps you nice and warm outdoors as well. Another thing to mention is this Polar Tech technology is uh, very popular uh, and it's very stretchy too, uh, like the Apex Bionic. It's also very durable, so uh, being in the Summit series, it's been tested. Uh, so if you go out in the mountains and it scrapes against a rock, it's not going to harm the jacket. It's not going to tear very easily. So it's a very durable material. Now we have the Apex Bionic. The Apex Bionic features the TNF Apex Climate Block technology for the outer shell. Its fabric wind permeability is rated at zero, just like the Apex Summit Thermal, which means no wind can get in. It's 100% windproof. It does have a nice Napoleon chest pocket as you can see uh, as well as two hand warmer pockets. Um, now this is an older model that I have, it's about three years old 
and this one does not have the Velcro adjustable cuffs as they as you will see in the newer model and it doesn't have the hem cinch cords for the adjustment as well uh, so this is the older model the new models will have both Velcro on the cuffs of your sleeve and they will have the hem cinch cords for adjustments uh, which is different now the northface.com says that this is for windy cold weather activities um, now it's nice because it keeps the wind out it uh, can be worn as a standalone jacket an exterior shell it's great for aerobic activities it has a nice stretch to the material the Apex Bionic also has a standard fit so it's going to fit a little bit looser than uh, the Summit Thermal which has the um, Alpine fit as we look at the back of the jacket, you can see that uh, the Apex Bionic continues its popular uh, color combinations. And the nice thing about the Apex Bionic is online you have a ton of different color combinations. The Summit Thermal, you're a little bit more limited, but um, it'll still look nice. Again, you have the Apex uh, outer shell, and you can see the North Face logo in the right uh, shoulder area. Now as we look at the inside of the jacket, you can see it does have a fleece backing. However, it's not as high loft as the Apex Summit Thermal, so it will not keep you as warm as that. Uh, but being a regular fit, you can afford to put more layers on uh, with this jacket. Again, looking at the Apex Bionic, you can see how it has the regular fit, so it's a little bit looser um, than the Summit Thermal. Also, it's a very lightweight jacket. Um, you can afford to put on layers to keep you warm since you don't have uh, the same kind of fleece that the Summit Thermal does. It's very stylish. Uh, it can be worn indoors, can be worn outdoors, and the shell is very nice because it blocks the wind. The Apex material is also very durable, so if it scrapes against a rock, it's not gonna uh, rip or tear very easily. It's also coated with a little water repellent, so it can repel water up to a certain extent. We're now going to test both of these jackets in snow, cold, and rain. So first we're going to test out the Apex Bionic. I stood outside for about 10 minutes before it got really cold. Uh, it's about 20 degrees here. Um, I was able to withstand uh, the wind pretty good. It didn't come through the jacket, but just the coldness because the fleece isn't as thick um, got pretty cold pretty quick. Uh, so I would have loved to put on uh, more layers. All I was wearing under this was a t-shirt and just put on the jacket. So I was okay for a couple minutes, then it got really cold. Uh, would love to have something a little warmer. Let's test it out now with snow. So here's snow goes on the uh, sleeve here. Notice it repels it pretty nice. But, looks like some water is seeping in. Next I tested out the Summit Thermal. This was really warm. I was never really cold with this guy. Um, 20 degree weather, just wearing a t-shirt underneath and uh, I was fine. It was uh, plenty warm. Uh, blocked out the wind really nice and uh, I was never really uncomfortable with this jacket at all. Alright, so I have the uh, Summit Thermal here. We're going to do the snow test. So here's my sleeve. Put some snow on there. Repels it really nice. Even when it melts, it doesn't s soak in. It's pretty nice. So first we have the Apex Bionic, as you can see, the red, so it beams the water off pretty well, but then, as you can see, it starts to soak in, kind of like how we saw once the snow melted, it gradually just soaked in. So you're not going to want to use something like this in a rain shower um, or just playing in the snow as an outer shell, but for a wind blocker it makes a great job. Now we have the Apex Summit Thermal. 
So just so you can see, there's a Summit Series uh, patch there. Look how nice that repels it. So pretty nice. It does get a little bit wet, but as you see, it doesn't soak in like uh, the Apex Bionic did. So it's a little bit better for snow if you're going to use it as an outer shell or an inner shell. Uh, you can use it in rain, but you wouldn't want to use it um, as a rain coat. Again, it's really good for the wind permeability, and then it's also really good uh, for snow if you want to put it on as a ski jacket. It'll work really well. Now, in conclusion, I would say that the Summit Thermal is by far the better bang for your buck. If you can uh, swing the $230 payment, you're going to be getting a lot more. It's a really good lightweight jacket, but it has the warmth of a heavy coat. However, it's very breathable, so you can wear it uh, like the Apex Bionic, where you can be in cool weather, it's not going to be overbearingly warm. You can wear it indoors, it's not going to be overbearingly warm as well. Uh, it's breathable, it repels water, snow, and rain, and wind. So it's very nice um, to have. But the Apex Bionic, you get what you pay for. It's a little bit cheaper. It blocks the wind very nice. However, it doesn't have that Polar Tech technology to keep you nice and warm. So if you are going to go that route with the Apex Bionic, just know uh, that it's not going to keep you super warm in the cold weather. I would say anywhere from 35 and warmer, it'd be a good jacket to use. However, if you want to invest a little bit more, the Apex Summit Thermal will do the same job uh, and it'll keep you warmer in colder conditions. Also with the Apex Bionic, uh, it will repel water for a little bit, but then it'll start to soak in. So know that um, it's not going to repel as good as the Summit Thermal. Uh, same with snow. Uh, so anyways, that's all I have for you all today. Uh, this is my first jacket review, so thanks for your patience. Please let me know how I did and leave a comment. Thanks.